on Yasin Malik at 4 p.m. today. That's the big breaking news coming in. Delhi court uh, is going to be uh, giving out that sentence uh, at 4 p.m. The time given was 3.30 and now in half an hour from now, the Delhi court is all set to give quantum of sentence. That's the big breaking news coming in. Delhi court set to pronounce quantum of sentence for Yasin Malik at 4 p.m. now. 4 p.m. is the time given viewers. The JKLF leader who is accused in 2017 terror crowdfunding case. The NI is pushing for a death sentence for Yasin Malik. All eyes now on what the Delhi court decides. Shreya Chatterjee joins us live for the very latest. Shreya, 4 p.m. is the revised timing. What have been the arguments for and against? If you could walk us through what happened in court. Well, uh, the the hearing now, uh, the order rather, will now be read out uh, tentatively around 4 uh, because the court is still writing the order. We do know that it was reserved earlier today when uh, the NIA has sought a death penalty in the terror funding case for uh, Yasin Malik. Uh, now we have to wait and watch whether it's a death penalty or a life imprisonment uh, that is in the fate for Yasin Malik. Remember, this is a 2017 terror funding case that was lodged by the NIA where Hawala routes were used to get in money from UAE, Pakistan uh, via ISI sources and then create unrest in the valley. It was following the time of 2016 after the death of terrorist Guran Wani where Yasin Malik and the likes of Altaf Fantush, Asya Andrabi, uh, Zahur Vatali were also named in the same very case to just give a, uh, I mean, a brief idea about what this case is. Remember there were shell companies that were created by uh, Zahur Vatali through which uh, funding was actually actually pumped in uh, from uh, ISI via uh, uh, Pakistan and UAE. This came from the likes of Hafiz Saeed, Saeed Salahuddin and the NIA had evidence that uh, um, there was uh, money received by Yasin Malik from Zahur Vatali which he had used to actually create furor and unrest in the valley. There were notes recovered uh, from uh, during the raids in the matter where there was clear indication given that people involved in football tournaments should be disengaged and these youth should be, uh, I mean, uh, used for stone pelting. This is the same period of time when 89 cases of stone pelting was actually registered in the valley. So this is the entire matter. And now the court will pronounce the order. 4 p.m. is the revised timing. And we will get to know what hangs in the fate for Yasin Malik, whether it's death penalty or life imprisonment. But clearly, NIA has sought for death penalty, saying that they want a deterrent punishment in the matter.